less than 11.8 equal parts. This is 11.7 in a 2012 copyright. Equal means being the same size or amount. Equal parts means each part is the same size. One half is one of two equal parts. Two equal parts are halves, and two halves make one whole. Here this pink part is a half. Here we have another half, and together they make one whole. Here we have half, here we have half. Two halves make one whole. Even for this circle, we have half here, we have half here, it makes one whole circle. One third is one of three equal parts. Three equal parts are thirds. Three thirds make one whole. So this orange part is one third of the rectangle. All three of the parts would be a whole. You can even go this way. This is one third, that's one third, that's one third. We could even have one third of a circle. And you can remember a third is one of three parts because third starts with th like the word three. One fourth is one of four equal parts. Four equal parts are fourths and four fourths make one whole. Here we have one of the four equal parts, that's one fourth. If we have four of them, that's four fourths. Can even go this way. This is one fourth. This is one fourth of a circle. This is one fourth of a square. And fourth, the word fourth has the word four in it. See, F-O-U-R, so that's easy to remember. This red bar stands for one whole. Here, the bar underneath it is two halves. Here we have another one whole, and this orange bar is in three thirds. Here's another one whole. This yellow bar is in four fourths. And we can compare their size. Here's one whole red one. We can see a half is the pink one, a third is the orange one, and a fourth is the yellow one. Can you see that the half is bigger than the third and the fourth. So I'd rather have one half of a candy bar than one fourth of a candy bar. One fourth of a candy bar would be this little piece. One half would be this bigger piece. Here it's telling us to write how many equal parts there are in the whole. Write halves, thirds, or fourths to name the equal parts. And we look at this shape and even though it's not a square or a rectangle, we can see that both sides look the same. We have one, two equal parts. If there's two equal parts, that means they're halves. Now look at this one. Does each part look the same size? And how many parts are there? We can count them. One, two, three, four. There are four equal parts, and since there are four, they are fourths. It starts with the word four, doesn't it? See? Fourths. Now this next one might be a little tricky. It kind of looks like a cube, doesn't it? How many equal parts do we have? We can even turn this, look at this part. What if I turned it? No matter how I turn it, they all look the same. And we can count one, two, three equal parts. Three starts with TH, so we know this is thirds. Thirds are three equal parts. Look at this shape. How many equal parts do we see? If you said two, you're right. And if there's two equal parts, they're halves. We can fold a piece of paper into equal parts. We can get three pieces of paper that are the same size. 
We can fold one of them in half. See how it matches up? This side covers this side. We folded it in half. There's two halves. For this one, I folded it into thirds like this. I made three equal parts. And for this one, I folded it into fourths. I folded it in half. Then I folded it in half again. And that made four equal parts. Here it's telling us to circle the shape that shows equal parts. So we think equal parts will be the same size. Are these the same size? No. So it's not this one. Are both of these parts the same size? No. So it's not this one. Are all of these parts the same size? Yes, they are. That's fourths. And these are not the same size. We have two squares and two rectangles, so it's not this one. So we know this is the shape that shows equal parts. In our next lesson, 11.9, we're going to show equal parts of a whole. We're going to have shapes and we're going to draw the lines to make equal parts to show halves, thirds, and fourths. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you're doing well. I hope you'll join me next time. Bye.